everybody. July 23rd, dude. This month, man. This month. Last month. This month. Yep. 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 Uh, man, the summer is, uh, you know, it's, it's flying. And uh, I haven't even started. Oh, I, I did. I, I did start working on this spider. Um, I got the oil change done. I got new drain plugs in it. And I got the uh, the air filter clean. So uh, next is this thing needs a bath big time and just scrub everything down on it. And then uh, we're gonna pull the rear tire off and replace the back tire. And then we're gonna go from there. I just need to uh, get everything together and a place to do everything. And then we're gonna. For two years, we're gonna start working on the spider. Uh, but I think it's getting closer, to be honest with you. My little nose itched. Itchy little nose. And this isn't gonna be a very long ride today just to get out of the house. Um, yeah, I got I got stuff to do. So, uh, you know one of those mental health rides we will call them from this point on am I gonna get the light nah. oh there's a bucket that would make it for a bad day oof, oof, oof. did they pave up here did I know they paved up here yeah maybe I don't know I don't remember I was just on this road and I think I was just on this road with this spider. No, this is new. This is new. New blacktop. All right, people. I can dig that. Oh yeah. You know, a, a freshly paved road is one of the best to ride, but man, the heat that comes off these things, woof. I can already tell a difference. Like when I was, uh, where the road I just turned off of, I was uh, about a mile back. I was like, man, it's nice and cool out here. But no, no, this, uh, this freshly paved blacktop is not cool by no means. So yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a power washer and I'm big not using power washers, but I, I literally, man, my power washers, it's tiny. It doesn't put out a lot of pressure. I'm gonna put it on uh, where it really sprays out a nice soft pattern. I've actually touched my fingers to it. So I know the pressure that it is, and that might sound stupid, but this power washer is not, it is not a crazy power washer. You know, less than $100 on Amazon. You plug it in power washer um, but yeah I'm gonna power wash everything and we're gonna at least get a wax on this and then uh, that's a lot of gravel and then we'll come up with a game plan uh, this pack tire um, it is bald it is oof. Oh, no black top it is more than bald it is a race slick And the sad thing is I've probably had the tire sitting in the shed for two years now. Yeah. Yep. <sighs> There's, nothing. There's nothing else to say. You know, I just need to uh, be able to, uh, to get out there. So, like I said, I changed the oil on this one and I actually had to stop and take a break. Um, I just, I could not get through it. Uh, but then I did the oil change on the white spider. Now, I had all the tools still out. And uh, I got that done in less than an hour. So, not, not the best time in the world. But not bad for, for how slow I have to go anymore. Um, yeah, so both machines have brand new oil in them. So, we're good for 9,000 miles. Um, I think I need to put a tire on the white spider. That spider, I, I love it to death now that I 
made it where it goes around corners. Um, but it is, it, by no means is it a lemon. Um, or no means is it a bad spider. It's just not, it's not the spider. You know, I, I've thrown a lot more of that spider than I ever have with this one. And it's just, you know, brake pads, tires, stuff like that. Um, I'm at 23,000 miles and I, I mean, that's a lot of miles, I guess. It's just, what, two years old? Um, yeah, and I, I need to put a, a second tire on it here pretty soon. And I think why I need to put a second tire on it is it just weighs a little bit more, you know? It's a little heavier than this. So it, it's going to, to wear things. Especially if I ride it like this, you know? It, so I'm gonna go through brakes, I'm gonna go through tires. Oh, okay, let's pay attention to whatever this is, some type of, uh, John Deere Gator, maybe? John Deere. Foe by foe. Man dang. Um, <laughs> so usually when I pull into the backyard, I have a tarp down underneath the tent, we'll call it, that I put the white spider in. Uh, that way some moisture doesn't well kept underneath it. So I don't want to pull in with that hot cat sitting underneath there and it, you know, catch everything on fire. So I, I leave it outside till it cools off. And uh, my daughter, at the young age of 18, I was like, I think it's time for you to uh, to hop on the spider and, and you do it. And I should have recorded it. Uh, it was difficult for me to tell her how to get it in reverse. But she got it in reverse, she backed it up and then she pulled it forward right into the the, the tent shed storage spot for it and she did a good job so I think that's pretty cool oh, what a fantastic little spot to this road back there that I'm missing I think I think there was oh and then we're gonna be coming into Somerset so I'll, I'll go around the square it's a square oh that's a pretty truck big old dually That is just gorgeous. All right, let's not forget. No, no, let's not forget. Stop. This thing's picked up like a little whistle through the exhaust. I wish the, I don't need a, a loud pipe, but I wish the uh, white spider had a little bit more noise to her. Like I said, this is the little town, that's a cute house, of Somerset. See how many bikers they got going. Sometimes this thing is just full of bikes. Like the whole square is full of them, and I, I don't understand why. I mean, it's a cool little town, you know, you know, because I've told you. See, we'll just we'll go around the square. Cool little town. I dig it. I dig it. And then I live this way.
they've uh, really started redoing the whole downtown. I love it. I don't know why. I, this town just seems crazy old, and I, I don't... So my grandparents, long story short, my grandparents used to live here. I spent a lot of summers out here. They had a farm a couple miles out on 13. They had about 30 acres, so, uh, you know, I spent a lot of time here as a kid. Uh, my uncle lived out here also as well, so, you know, uh, a lot of time out here. And I just, you know, it's, it's weird when you're a kid, the stuff that you don't see, you know, and then... Uh, 40 years later or so, it's like, oh, oh, this is a very cool little town. I'll have to get home and see if there's any property in Somerset that's free. Not free, but on the market. Yeah, cute town, very cute town. And then I'm just gonna head back on 22. So I'm gonna let everybody go. I need to listen to some music. I gotta work some stuff out in the old noggin. Hence the ride. So uh, give me a big old thumbs up if you like the rambling today. Thank you for watching. Stay safe. I'll see you down the road.